Hey y'all, Angie here, helping us build collective understanding to be better partners in our one weight coalition. Last time we talked about municipalities, also known as city or town governments that are established by charter by the state legislature. So let's just talk a little bit about uh, their form of government. It's determined by the charter that established the municipality. So there's actually quite a bit of variation. Let me focus on Raleigh, the city of Raleigh as an example, but remember Raleigh is only one of 12 municipalities in Wake County. So Raleigh has a city council and uh, those council people are, um, it's actually less common, but true in Raleigh that they represent districts. Um, and then we elect a mayor. Uh, the mayor's powers are actually pretty symbolic and not very substantial because in 1900 or so, we had a movement in America called the Progressive Movement that moved us to a council manager system. So since the people elected to the city council are popular, but they may not necessarily know a lot about water treatment or public safety through law enforcement protocols, they then elect a professional manager who actually carries out the day-to-day -day administration of the, the um, policy made by the city council. So we have a city council and we have a mayor, but the city manager is actually pretty important in terms of the actual day-to-day -day administration of the city. Thanks a lot. See you next time.